Welcome to our quarterly video series. Today we have a very special guest with us, Major General Zadalis, who used to be the former TACC commander. Now he is currently the USAFE AF Africa Vice Commander. Today he is going to talk about our wing, a wing that has been involved in every operation across this Eastern Enterprise. We're very excited to hear from him because from his perspective, we have hit it out of the park. So without further ado, Major General Zadalis. I'd like to say thank you for giving me the opportunity to share a couple of minutes with you. Uh, a couple of thoughts that I've wanted to share, and I'd love to share it with each one of you in person, but unfortunately I know that it's hard to shake everybody's hand and tell them thank you. Uh, most of you know that I just uh, uh, relinquished command of the 6 to 18th AOC, better known as the TACC, a little over two months ago. I handed it over to uh, Brigadier General Brian Robinson. And while I was at the helm of that absolutely amazing organization and all of the accomplishments that, uh, that we executed during my two-year tender, I was very cognizant that while we did a lot at Scott Air Force Base, the real heavy lifting was done by, done by those of you out into the field. And I have a special relationship with the 521st since my time as the EMTF commander at McGuire. In fact, I remember the day where I handed the flag to stand up the 521st to Colonel Kim Corcoran uh, in your large hangar at Ramstein. So I'm very aware of the number of locations and the number of men and women specialties that you have across uh, uh, USAFE, across CENTCOM, across uh, Africa that support the air mobility mission, both on the air refueling, air medical evacuation, and airlift side of the house. So I want to say thank you. Um, my going away gift from the TACC was a mug, a coffee mug. But on that mug was something that was called the eight-pack slide, and it listed the number of sorties that had been accomplished during my time in command. And I took special note of those that went through UCOM, AFRICOM, and CENTCOM. Well over 120,000 sorties supporting our men and women stationed around the area. It was absolutely staggering numbers. And whether it was a uh, C-5 multimodal mission, a Cornet swapping out fighters, or those pop-up missions ranging from a POTUS deployment to a, a quick deployment into uh, the theater, I always knew that the men and women of the 521st were always there. I'll never forget the, uh, the C first C-5 multimodal and how it went, and I'll never forget the last one when we brought the C-5Ms in. I won't forget the Uzbek FMS mission where uh, we just incredible numbers of MRAPs were moved out of Kuwait. I'll never forget the, uh, how we closed Mazari Sharif, Fab Shank, Camp Bastion, Dwyer, Shindan, all of those locations that are synonymous with Afghan, Afghanistan and uh, the fight in OEF, and to what you're doing today supporting the mission in Iraq, the mission we have in Turkey right now. I owe you a tremendous debt of thanks for making my job, as I said in my change of command uh, words, making the TACC command the easiest job that I've ever had. I know there's thousands of you out there that make that happen every day, and I hope that I have the chance to shake your hand. Uh, as I've assumed duties as the Vice Commander here at uh, USAFE. What you do is absolutely amazing. And I'll leave you with one last great memory that I'll share with you. Uh, every morning I started my day at the TACC, and every maintainer out there I think will appreciate this, and I got a brief on operations around the world. And one of the parts of that briefing was the number of aircraft that were broke. And I will never forget the day we went to zero aircraft broke worldwide. We had gotten down to one or two several times during my command. And uh, when we got that close, we always watched it. And I remember the last aircraft broke, and it was a single C-17 on the ramp here at Ramstein Air Base, and how the maintainers did what they always do and uh, cleared the discrepancy on that aircraft. And for the first time in the history of TACC, or in the history that anybody could remember, we had zero aircraft broke around the world. And usually you'd expect something like to, that to last maybe 15 minutes, maybe 30 minutes, given the number of sorties that we execute. But it was over four and a half hours. And that really defined what you do, regardless of what AFSC you have, is you're always striving to be better. Four and a half hours of no broke aircraft around the world. That's an amazing one, but I know you'll beat it again. Uh, someday it'll be five hours, maybe ten. But on behalf of myself, all of those who uh, at TACC, 
And I'll add Brigadier General Robinson to the list to say thank you for all the tremendous support that you've given me, that you're giving them today, but most importantly, for every man and woman that is out there at the tip of the spear that needs you every day. Thank you. Good afternoon, 521. I would like to echo the comments that General Zadalis just made. It's phenomenal watching this wing and, and watching you perform your mission. For the past 20 months now that I've been a part of this wing, it amazes me every single day to watch you do that. You do it with such professionalism, such expertise, and you do it with such fluidity that you make it look so incredibly easy every single day. I said this to the squadron commanders and the chiefs when they were here a couple weeks ago, that AMC is like a light switch. When you turn it on, it always happens. It's always there and the mission is always getting done. You guys are a part of that and you do that every single day. And I just want to say thank you for that. You've made my job incredibly easy here. I would like to say this is my last quarterly video. It is with uh, a bittersweet emotion that we're getting ready to move out and, and into the retirement world. And I want to thank you for everything you've done for me and for my family over the past 20 months. And I want to wish you all the best of luck. I know by the time that you see this video, Chief Redden, my replacement, will be on the ground and will already start to immerse in your units. And I hope that you welcome him the way that you welcome me. It's been phenomenal working with you, and I truly wish you all the very best in your careers. Thanks. <laughs>